Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Deb from Bowl Me Over. And thanks for coming back into my kitchen. I wanted to invite you in today to show you a couple of things. Um, we're gonna do some cooking today. We're gonna do some prep I have um, kind of over here. I always have to second guess and adjust myself as I go, but um, hopefully you can see everything well enough. Um, I'm gonna start off by getting a summer succotash going. And as soon as I get that going, I'll give you a, a more information about why I'm doing this today. Um, in this pan, I have some butter that's melted along with some olive oil. And with that, I'm gonna put in some mushrooms, about three or four large mushrooms sliced, and onions. That's all that's going in here. And we're gonna let that cook off while I tell a little bit of, of a story. Perfect. So, I, if you follow my Facebook page, you'll know that we do, I do a lot of cooking for my mother-in-law. She lives nearby. Um, my husband and I help her out a lot. I should say my husband does. I do some cooking and things for her. But um, it's a challenge if you have an older parent or sibling or family member um, to make sure they're, to help them to eat correctly. And um, my mom-in-law, her name is Lawanda, she's at the age where she just really doesn't want to cook. So um, if I leave her to her own devices, um, and I'm not trying to be pushy or anything, by the way, but I find that she, she doesn't make good choices, and I'm just trying to help keep her as healthy as we can for as long as we can. Um, hi, Shirley, I see that you've logged in. Uh, she's up in St. Helens, Oregon. That's my hometown. Um, but when I got her grocery bill this, this last month, it was um, bear claws, uh, fried chicken, cornbread, oatmeal, that's a good one, a block of cheddar cheese, frozen um, spaghetti dinners, fro frozen chicken dinners, and cookies and lasagna. So um, I'm trying to help her eat more fresh food. So what I've started to prep today, um, like I mentioned, is the succotash. And so we're gonna start off with the, the onions and mushrooms. I'm gonna let that cook away. In the, in the back, let's see here, yep, you can see that. Um, I have some pasta that I already have done. But at the, as a teaser to this, um, what we're gonna do today is the summer succotash, the easiest stuffed potatoes ever, and then I'm gonna put together a beef roll-up sandwich for two, and we're gonna take this out to her tonight. Um, so for the potatoes, you're gonna laugh, but I kid you not, this is the easiest way to do a stuffed potato, and it's really yummy too. Um, but I baked two potatoes in the oven, I've cut them in half, and added some butter, some salt and pepper, and let's see here, I'm gonna pull this back so you can see a little bit better. And here's the part where you're gonna laugh because this is what makes them the easiest thing ever. Here I have simply frozen vegetables in a cheese sauce, that's it. And what I'm, again, just trying to help her with is to eat more nutritious things um, as opposed to cookies and potato chips. And um, gosh, we all like those things, but you know, if we can just add a little more nutrition to her diet, I know that she's gonna feel lots, lots better. Um, and health is always a, a challenge for her. So there we have one, let's see, let me scoot that over, and I think you can see that. Um, and that is cauliflower and cheese, that's all it is. And for the second meal, I'm gonna do broccoli and cheese. And I put that right on top of the right on top of the um, baked potatoes that are already seasoned with butter and salt and pepper. Just get that last little bit out of there. Perfect. And I also use, um, we trade reusable containers because that's really helpful. Let's see. Hey Susie, um, I think that was one of my friends just logged on there. But just like that, the reusable container set, meal one is done. And as easily as that, meal two is done. And they're good. It's um, super yummy, it's easy, gotta love that. And let's see how I'm doing here. My onions and peppers, or onions and, and uh, mushrooms are cooking away nicely. And to those, I'm gonna add um, chopped tomatoes, about a cup and I just chopped those in half. 
and I'm just gonna let those cook up for a little bit. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna make um, a third meal for her. I can call this a third and a fourth because she'll eat about half the sandwich. And what I have here is just a tortilla and to the tortilla, we're gonna add, we're just gonna make a roll up. You always get those in the store. Well, they're, gosh, they're so easy to make and they're really affordable too. And with the yummy um, heirloom tomatoes and all that kind of wonderful stuff, it makes for a super easy, really tasty meal. And then she can have some of her potato chips and that's okay. So here I have just cream cheese that I'm going to, you can see that good, wonderful, spread on the bottom of this. Just kind of spread it all out a little bit. Perfect, and looks like my mom has logged on. Hi mom. Um, send a like or a, a comment across the screen if you see something you like or if you have any questions, don't be afraid to to jump in there and say hi. Um, I appreciate knowing that you're there. So here I've topped it with some olives. I'm gonna add some lettuce. Some tomatoes. And some onions, a little bit of each. Um, my mother-in-law, she doesn't have an issue with weight. In fact, she's oftentimes too thin. And um, so this, kind of helps her out to eat a little more balanced meals. And here, I'm gonna to top this off with some roast beef. And you always see these at Christmas time, little pinwheel roll-ups, but they're so easy to make, and they're really good too, and I know that she enjoys them. So here I have it together, and I'm just going to slice it in half, just like that. I'm gonna grab my saran wrap, and quickly stir this. Perfect. In fact, I'm going to add some garlic to this now. This is one clove of garlic that I chopped. And just add that right in there. And that's perfect. And I'm going to take just a quick moment and wrap these individually. Um, I know it's always, it's, it's a concern. My dad told me something many years ago and that was, your body will take care of you from age zero to 50 and after that you have to take care of your body and I think that's really true. And oftentimes, you know, if your stomach hurts or you're, you just don't feel well or, they have this myriad of issues. I always, I always ask, well, what have you ate today? What did you eat yesterday? And not that I'm a nutritionist. I'm not um, professing to be at all. But I know that when I am out and I'm running marathons and you know, getting some good exercise, my body does best when I fuel it correctly. So just like that, our our little beef roll-up sandwiches are done and they're set aside. Next to the Succotash, I'm gonna add some flour. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in, and it's about two tablespoons. I have about two tablespoons, I started with, I should say, about two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. And I don't want this to be super thick, but I want, I want that flour to thicken it up just a little bit. And looks like we have Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay, how you doing? Thanks for, thanks for uh, logging in and, and tuning in. So this is thickening it up, and I, next I'm gonna add some cream to it. I don't wanna add it quite yet because I want, I want the flour taste to cook out a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper just to give it some seasoning. My um, mother-in-law doesn't, um, she's, she, has a very peculiar palate. So I, I try to introduce new things to her and I, um, I don't always succeed on that. So I, I try to stick to the basics, um, but I know it's stuff that she enjoys. Uh, fresh vegetables, she was, her, her mom was a vegetarian. So 
she enjoys those fresh vegetable kind of things, so I know that this will really appeal to her. A nice summer succotash. So into the, the skillet, I'm going to add two cups of heavy cream, just like that. And I'm going to give this a stir, and that's going to start thickening up, just like that. Maybe a minute more. Give it a good stir. Perfect. Um, to my succotash, I'm going to add some corn, and I've grilled that corn off, and then yellow and um, green squash. So I'm just going to toss that in too. So this is going to be just a, a really nice meal full of lots of great veggies. And if I was uh, looking at my leftovers sitting on the plate there, the onion and the tomato and lettuce. Now I wouldn't put the lettuce in there, but I would certainly put the leftover tomato and onions in there too, just to give it a good finish. So we're going to let this cook up just a little bit. It's going to thicken up. And then I'm going to give it a taste test. So tell me, um, let me see if I have, oh cool. Hey, my, my niece is logged on from San Francisco. So hey Chrissy, how you doing? Um, but there's, there's just a couple of things when you're, when you're cooking. Just if, I don't know if anyone else has um, some in-laws out there that are family members or friends that they help cook for. Um, but you know, like I said, when friends get older, people get older, it's, it's just a little tougher to sometimes eat the right way and it's tough when you're by yourself too because it's not a lot of fun to to sit around and cook for yourself so that's why I try to help her out a little bit with that so we're gonna let this bubble up for a minute and you can see over here I have all these set and ready to go I'm probably going to take about three servings of the succotash out to her um, and then the other the stuffed potatoes and the sandwiches but it's all set, it's all ready to go. So here I have my pasta. Normally I would put all this, you know what, actually, I think I'll put it in here. Um, I'm gonna put it right here in this large pot because like, um, I always cook too much. I take after my grandma, my grandma Phyllis and uh, cook large amounts of everything. But whatever, whatever we don't take, we'll eat here tonight or tomorrow, so. That'll be just perfect. So what I've done is added some penne pasta here to the pot. And of that pasta, I saved out about a cup of pasta water because as this thickens, if it gets too thick, and I don't want it to be too thick, I'm going to add some pasta water to help thin it out. So I'm also going to put some shredded Parmesan cheese in here. So let's see. Give me a shout out. Tell, tell me where you're from if I, if I don't know who you are. So if I haven't called out your name, definitely give me a shout out. Um, tell me what's your favorite thing to cook. So what do we got here? This is almost done, almost set and ready. You can tell that it's really thickened up nicely. It's really simple. We have corn, zucchini, yellow squash, onions, and tomatoes. If I had some fresh peas, I would throw those in. If I had um, eggplant, that would be lovely in here. And you know what I'm gonna do? I don't have a small spoon hand. Oh, I do. I just wanna give this a little taste test and see how we're doing for, for seasoning. Mm. That's pretty good. I think it needs just a bit more salt. So let me add some more salt. You know, truly, the, the longest this took was to chop the vegetables and boil the pasta. So something to think about if you're looking for a quick, easy meal yourself, or if you're, you know, looking to prepare a meal for someone that you love, this is super easy. And with everything that's in the farmer's market right now, it's perfect. I talk a lot about farmer's markets. I know that. So, cool. Okay. I think we're set. So at this point, what I'm going to do is grab my hot pan holders, if I can find them. There we are. And I'm going to carefully, we'll see how successful I am, 
Carefully pour this into the pasta, just like that. And that's perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for here. I'm just going to move this off to the side. And see, this is what I mean. I take after my grandma Phyllis. I have, uh, I have cooked for a crowd once or twice in my life. Just like that, pasta's looking really good. I think it's just a little bit stiff, so I'm going to add in some of that pasta water. Here we go. And you'll know if you don't want it to, you know, you like it tighter, that's fine. Whatever, whatever is your preference. Now, this is not a recipe I have on my blog. Um, if it's something you'd like to see, please give me a shout and let me know. So just like that. Perfect. And what I'm going to do with those, with that, I should say, is dish it into my containers. I'm going to let it cool a little bit, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. Dish it into my containers. It's a complete meal because we have some pasta. We have lots of nice veggies in there. Um, it's just perfect. I don't need to add anything else. I'm going to top it with a little cheese, package them up, and off they go. So again, if you have any questions, give me a shout. If you want this recipe, let me know, and I'll put it on the blog. But this is Deb, and the blog is www.bowl-me-over.com. Um, love for you to check it out. Always have a new recipes on there, and I'd love to hear your input. So have a fabulous day. I hope that everything's well your way, and we'll talk to you soon.